Okay, so today we are going to do knotless braids with the elastic bands. It's my first time trying out this, but apparently it's like really quick. So this is what I'm going to do today. Did I welcome you? Hi. Hi. If you're new to my vlog, to my channel, my name is Nadipa. Thank you for stopping by. If you are a regular, thank you for your support as always. Now, please make sure if you have not already done so, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button, hit your notification bell, so you can join our family. Yes, amazing, we are on the road to 500 subscribers. Okay, so I'm just gonna get right into the video. I've already stretched my hair because um, I, didn't use, I don't want to use any heat. So I've already stretched my hair and then I'm going to be using these. I got these at Discam. Okay, so these are the elastic bands. I got these at Discam. And then I'm going to be using the... I'm using my daughter's desk chair, by the way. Okay, then I have the expression. Okay, so I've got the expression braids and yeah, that's that. So let's get this video going. I tell you, I'm not gonna meet. What when oh when are we starting? Yeah? The phone won't be much if they need. Nope, that doesn't count. We say fact, we say silly set no waste. So many ways down. I can't. Can't look for some warm double tail. Warm double tail. This is my same name, so yeah. Okay, so we finished preparing our hair. So the next step is then parting your hair. This was kind of like, um, I would say the most difficult of all of them because I'm not um, very good, obviously, especially at the back um, at getting the, the, um, the parting straight and all of that, but that's okay. My daughter was here to help out. The easiest way I usually do when I'm um, it's just always start off in the front. I don't really care much about the back, but I'm going to part my hair all the way and then I'm going to section it into smaller sections, which you will see. And then I'm going to tie the elastic bands um, around each section so it is nice and prepared for the knotless braids, like this, like that. Okay, so this is my hair all prepared. I did that. And now the hair I'm going to be using is the Expression Braid. I have to say the quality of this hair was not that great. It really was bad. You might see on some clips the struggle we were having with the hair. But anyway, I did cut the hair in half. I did want um, sort of like longer braids, you will see in the end, but not too long. And it did not smell as good as, uh, yeah, it was not. Um, it was not smelling quite good. That's all I'm going to say. So then I'm getting my hair ready and I'm preparing it. And just to comb it through. So just to help out with any, um, what do you call it? Just to make sure that it does not, um, it's not tangled up. So I'm obviously brushing it with a wide tooth comb. And then I am literally just trying, because the hair is not already stretched. So I'm kind of like having to prepare it and stretch it. Now, as you can see, I'm kind of like reading. It does say um, it does not tangle and blah, 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 and all of that. But yeah, no, it, it did, no, it was tangling. Okay, so the elastic bands, those the elastic bands. And what I did with the elastic bands, I actually did soak them in a little bit of oil, not soak them, I just put a little bit of oil around it so it's more pliable, it's easy to work with. And then obviously I did use a moisturizing butter for my hair, but also um, in this video, I did use a lot of gel first. Start off with the gel around the roots so that my hair can actually hold so the elastic bands can hold so that the knotless braids don't um, break off easily so 
it just helps to really get my hair gelled up and, and, and it's just sort of like get a nice grip. Yes, that's what it does. That's what the gel does, helps with the grip. Okay, and then now I'm getting my hair ready and I am sectioning it to the amount of hair that you want. It just depends on how, how thick you want your braids to be. So you can just um, take your hair um, according to the thickness of your braids that you request. So what we're going to do now is we are going to start off. So we removed um, the one elastic band, so we've got everything ready. So you just part one of the elastic bands, as you can see, and then you part it in half, and then you're gonna take your hair, you put it right in the middle of the parting, and then you're gonna join it together. Obviously, what I did not show you is that I actually started with the gel first. Okay, so um, then I'm going to take the elastic band again and I'm going to tie my hair. Now, when you do um, tying the elastic band, please make sure you tie it right um, to the root so it is not loose. That's my daughter struggling over there. So you're going to take your hair and then you're obviously going to divide the braids, one of the braids into three, the braids into three. So one of the braids is gonna go into your natural hair and then you are going to do a three strand braid method. As you can see she's struggling there with the hair. It's kind of like tangles. It tangles like really, really easily. Like, uh, so the quality was not that great. I guess I won't be buying that. Okay, so now we're just braiding our hair with a three strand braid. We all know how to do that and we're going to braid that right until the end. Literally, that's it. It's literally that simple. That is how you do it. It is so simple. And this is the reason why my daughter decided to volunteer for this and I was going to do it myself. But she was like, let me try it. So my daughter is doing my entire head, which I'm really happy um, for anyway. So... Yes, that's it. So I'm going to show you again, just in case you did not see. Okay, so there we go. That's us applying the gel over there. Obviously, you can take as much gel as you want. I just don't like too much gel on my hair. So, um, yes and i wasn't planning on keeping the hairstyle for a very long period of time so i use the gel over there i use the eco um the eco gel i use that one so it can really just help with the grip of the hair during the braids okay so after that you also apply the moisturizing butter to the ends of the hair especially because it's the oldest part of your hair and then you are going to part your hair in half the one that you sectioned and then you are going to take your elastic band again and you are going to just tie it up so you are joining those two halves together and then you've got your braids right in the middle as you can see your this hair was last dark seriously okay so we divide your braids into three and then you just begin with this three strand method just braiding your hair like you normally do and you don't even have to you know when you do um, braids that you have to secure right at the root with this one you don't have to you literally just get into the three and um, the braiding method and that's all you you do it that's it it is that simple guys it's really not that hard like anybody can do it and it does not take long as well so i really love it and plus there is not much um tension to your hair as you go as you can see there's really not much tension to your hair whereas before you end up with the scalp that is so so painful because your hair has been pulled so tight now whenever i find if somebody ever like you know when you're braiding it does happen sometimes that you feel like somebody is pulling obviously because they're trying to braid a little bit tighter so all i do is literally just hold the braid down um at the root right at the end you will see as i do there we go so i try to assist so i don't have too much tension on my on my scalp as well as on my hair so i don't lose any hair basically and then i just hold that down and they just finish braiding so after this guys um, my daughter is going to braid in the rest of my hair and that is going to be um faster so you're just going to see a faster version there we go we are literally almost done with this it did not take that long and it is not hard at all seriously my daughter can do it so anyone can do it like that is 
the easiest hairstyling protective style that you can do for yourself you can do it yourself you can have your little sister do it you can have your daughter do it hey it's pretty easy so while she was doing my hair obviously I was just cutting the little bits of the ends as you can see there in the braids just so it goes a little bit faster so just um, cutting off the little bits over there yes look at that it is all done i love how these turned out oh my gosh oh my gosh i'm so excited i just love them i'm not sure why my camera is not focusing but okay we move so the next step that you do is you're going to oil your scalp to make sure it's nice and nourished you always have to keep your scalp nourished and hydrated that's very important and then what i did also was i did do the hot water method um on my braids look at that oh yeah so we're also going to be styling my hair guys if you do like this style please let me know in the comment section down below let me know if you're going to try it i think you should it's pretty much easy to do so and also if you like it make sure you hit that like button and, and share this video and also don't forget to please hit the subscribe button look at that length yes remember we are on the road to 500k thank you so much guys absolutely absolutely i'm loving this hair oh look at that oh look at me showing off i think my daughter really did a great job kudos to her look look at me look at me yes oh love it yes happy dance happy dance happy dance okay so now we're going to style this hair you can pretty much just wear it um in every way that you like it is secure so don't be scared you can just tie it up like that you can even tie a little bit at the top if you like like half um half tied up and half loose like that or you can just simply choose to be a diva just like that thank you again so much guys for watching